What the heck is this? The Aqualung R&D team has definitely been working overtime and yesterday they announced their new equipment ecosystem. Uh, hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to the Scuba Dive Magazine channel, your favorite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. Yeah, yesterday Aqualung released their AquaSense at the Consumer Electronics Show, uh, which is an annual trade show that showcases new consumer electronics, uh, like hair care products and all that kind of stuff. Um, and um, But not at DEMA. Um, it wasn't worthy of a, a dive show, apparently. Uh, maybe it just wasn't ready in time. But anyway, um, so this AquaSense ecosystem, I think I read somewhere, um, is like several parts that are all made to work together and mean that you need to basically invest in all of them uh, to make it work fully, or at least you need to like stick in that kind of realms. Um, I could be wrong, uh, there's limited information on the press release, um, but of course, let's give it the benefit of a doubt and take a closer look. Um, so it all starts with a new first stage, uh, which looks big because it has a built-in transmitter and a light bar built into the first stage on one end to basically tell your buddy your breathing rate uh, because it has a four color light bar and it even has a, a little light on the uh, on the second stage uh, for the uh, for the same things and which color is basically like your breathing rate so if you're breathing too heavy uh, then it changes color and your buddy can tell uh, the transmitter talks to the new pulsar dive computer uh, and even to an app on your phone. I don't know whether it comes directly from your regulators to your phone or whether it has to go through the uh, the Pulsar dive computer. Time will tell. Um, and looking at this frame of the video, it actually monitors and broadcasts your breathing rate and your HP, uh, which I presume is your cylinder pressure, like your high pressure, um, but it's just like a ticker across. I don't know, again, time will tell. Um, it also seems to display your trim position in the water, uh, whether you're like leaning to one side uh, or whether you're like head up or down, which is kind of cool uh, when you're dialing in your trim and you're waiting outside of that. I don't know. Um, but let's have a quick read of the, uh, the press release. Uh, so stating AquaSense keeps the diver connected to their dive group and the surface, ensuring every moment is shared and every dive safer and unforgettable. Key features include respiratory information and alerts, such as LEDs, breathing, dive position and pressure monitoring, and wireless communication system. AquaSense by Aqualung will be available at retailers and dive centers by the third quarter of 2025 uh, at an RRP of 1,399 US dollars or 1,299 euros. Uh, the solution will feature a long lasting battery that offers up to one week of intensive autonomous diving, advanced integrated technologies, including Aqualung Sonar Underwater Communication, a 32-bit platform, black box, master breathing system, auto-closure device, freezing resistance, uh, respiratory information and alerts from algorithms, real-time support for the diver with on-screen guidance during the dive. So a few things there. Um, the first one is like the, the week long, so I have to recharge my regulator now, uh, seems unfortunate. Um, other than the large cylindrical first stage, one thing that you'll probably notice is that really chunky hose and the connection between the first and the second stage. That's no ordinary braided hose and it seems to be integrating electronics into that second stage for that little breathing uh, rate light and maybe a gyroscope. Maybe it's all in the first stage. Uh, again, it's hard to tell. Um, so that you can like see your trim in the water. Uh, but that seems like a lot of work just to get one little light on the second stage. I presume there's more going to it. And you can see a glimpse of that port in this frame. Uh, on the first stage, I presume underneath like a rubber cowl that you pull back, there's probably going to be a traditional 3 8 maybe half, um, but probably 3 8 uh, fitting and a cable that attaches here. So the electronics cable and then the, uh, the air hose. Um, on this frame of the video, it suggests that it will all talk to a boat on the surface. Similar to other wireless systems we've seen uh, over the years, you can have a, like, a separate system 
a, a transmitter receiver that you can lower down into the water and then plug that into a laptop on the boat for surface cover to monitor all divers. Uh, they use the word sonar in the press release, so I presume it's similar to the Garmin sonar system for greater range. Now, I know the comment sections, at least the ones that I've seen, haven't been very kind to the AquaSense so far, but I do like to give things the benefit of the doubt when they're new, and I would like to try it out and, uh, and get a closer look at it. Hopefully Aqualung will bring one to the Go Diving show this March. You can buy your tickets. Um, but let me know what you think about it down in the comments. It's, it is honestly nice to see a company venture something new into the recreational diving market and not just like rebadge some simple design changes and release something that we've already seen just in a different color this year. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.